All right, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, the Lashuan Kodash, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, but his true name, all right, is Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's the name that we must call upon to be delivered. All right, and, and it must have faith in. All right, we being the Israelites. OK, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. And the Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth speaking, you know, the different languages uh, may be looking like, you know, the uh, heathen nations where you are scattered. But your spirit is the spirit of an Israelite. OK. And you are a part of the house of David, the elect. All right. Come back until your true nationality, until your true power, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. Double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's speaking the true gospel of Yahweh Shai. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the men that is uh, out there on the highways and byways, edifying, uplifting, and uh, feeding the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, the elect, I should say, feeding the lost sheep of the elect, all right, of the house of Israel. All right, and to the elect, the house of David by Afta Awada. All right, Shalom, peace, love, and safety. All right to the ones who stand in the Holy Spirit, the Rakak Kudash, and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability day in and day out. All right, so um, it's Brother Atazawam. Just real quick, wanted to get, you know, uh, just bring this out. You know, uh, we in these last days, so you have Israelites, okay, that are waking up, all right, through the four corners of the earth, whether they be, you know, just regular, so called regular uh, uh, citizens of, you know, their respective countries. Or whether they be celebrities, all right. And um, now I say, I'll say waking up, but not having a breath in them, all right. And that's you know pursuant to Ezekiel thirty-seven chapter. Israel is waking to their true nationality, okay. That's definitely evident, okay. And and there's a broad spectrum of that happening, whether it be waking up to the complete hundred percent truth, or whether Israel is waking up to you know who they are. And this uh, person on the screen right here is a uh, ex uh cornerback for the Giants um Aaron Ross all right he was uh, on the Giants um I think like from between 2006 or 2005 all right and he played for a few years but you know he's a recent ex member of the Giants but as you see you know he has on um a black shirt with fringes on the bottom and a and a you know in title or inscription words on the shirt says Yehuda you know, which is should be, you know, uh, Yahawada. That's the the correct way to say Judah. OK, but, you know, um, obviously he knows that he's an Israelite. OK, he knows that, you know, um, he's a part of uh, the, the tribe of Judah from from his understanding. But he doesn't, you know, based on the shirt, you know, he doesn't really understand or have the complete knowledge of the um, language all right, of the ancient language, which, you know, means that he he doesn't have the knowledge of the true Heavenly Father's true name, okay, and his son's name. And that right there is the deciding factor, okay? You can know you are Israelite, but if you don't, and if you're not calling upon the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, in their true name, then you're not calling upon the Heavenly Father, all right? Now, Lord willing, OK, if it be the Lord's will, the Lord will wake him up to the understanding of the, you know, of his true name so that he can be the, so that he can call upon that name in sincerity and in truth. But the point is that Israel is, um, you know, waking up, man. All right. So I'm going to just play a little bit of it. You know, he doesn't really go into um, what he's wearing. But, you know, that's just a sign right there, man, that Israel is waking up. All right. All over. And he's on a, some some news channel. All right. Over there in Texas. So I'm going to play this a little bit of it. The East Texas Live. Now, football, it is a way of life in East Texas. You grow up here, you either have to interact with the sport at some point in your life. Uh, joining me now, a man who's done that, Aaron Ross, as well as uh, the folks with Christmas Training, Mother Francis, here to talk about your upcoming camp this weekend, 11th annual. You do it. What, what, how is it, what is so exciting about it for you? Um, just having the kids out there. Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the main thing. Okay, so I, as you see, you know, that's the, uh, the Israelite on the on the left side, once again, is uh, Aaron Ross. He was an ex-member of the uh, New York Giants. Okay, and 
you know, he he's wearing this <laughs> and he's standing next to an Edomite. All right. And, and you know, he's, he's basically this um, segment or this interview is about his, uh, you know, his football camp, whatever. But that's not the point. The point is that, you know, when I when he was on the team, like, I, I don't know if he knew he was an Israelite, but he wasn't, you know, wearing wearing um, s- stuff like this, apparel like this or right, fringes. OK, but obviously that means he came across the truth. Um, he came across being an Israelite, I should say, in in some in some fashion or form of the truth, so that he woke up to you know being an Israelite. Now, going to pursuing to the scriptures, Ezekiel thirty seven verse four. You know, it's the spirit because I brought out this scripture uh, a couple of days ago. Um, I did a lesson on the scripture about Israel, the sons of God are awake are are awakening. All right. It says uh, he again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith Yahweh power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. All right. And the bones is representing what the, the dead, the, the Israelites, man, that are dead out here and mainly in Babylon. All right. But throughout this whole, you know, Esau's whole society. All right. The, the bones are. We are to prophesy unto Israel, and that's why it's important, and that's why the, uh, Yahweh Shai commanded us to go out on these highways and byways and to prophesy unto these bones, okay? And in, in the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Kodash, the Holy Spirit, the breath is going to enter into these dry bones, and they're going to live again, okay? So verse 6, it says, And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin. And put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am your I am Yahweh. Okay, so you see the process. All right, the sinews in the flesh and cover you with skin. All right, that's what you put in back on your nationality. You put in back on who you know, you know, un, your, your heritage. Okay, but it's not until the breath enter in, enter ends to you that you are that you will live again. All right. So you have a lot of Israelites that are like him. He has on the sinews, he has on the flesh, he has on the skin, but he doesn't have the breath in him because the breath is the what? The Holy Spirit, the Rakah HaKodash, okay? And, and that's what you need in order to be sanctified, in order to be delivered. And you only get the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pull that up real quick. This is um the book of, I believe it's St. John chapter 14, verse 26. All right. It says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, the Hakwadash, whom the Father, Yahweh, will send in my name. All right. So the Heavenly Father sends the Holy Spirit in the name of Yahweh Shai. So you don't, you only, only one way you can get the Holy Spirit is by the Father sending it unto you through the acknowledgement and through the name, the powerful name of Yahweh Shai. So if you're not calling upon Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you will not receive the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you will not receive the breath. Therefore, you will not be alive. Even if you have the skin and the sinews and the flesh upon you, you are still not alive unless you have the Holy Spirit. All right. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. And that's who? That's only the elect. OK, the Holy Spirit is only going to enter into, you know, uh, and only sub with and dwell with and stay with an elect, uh, an elect member. OK, the sheep of Yahweh Shai. And they're going to teach us all things. And we're going to understand that this name Yehuda is not how you say uh, Judah in the ancient Hebrew in our in our language. OK, it's Yahweh. All right. So, you know, even though this uh, Aaron Ross, he has the knowledge of knowing he's an Israelite, okay, from the tribe of Judah, he doesn't have the Holy Spirit that is teaching and supping with him. Now, if it be the Lord's will, okay, the Lord could wake him up, you know, until that that acknowledgement. But as for right now, he is he is still, you know, uh, you know, dead. All right, he still is dead because he's not he's not breathing. So it says, verse seven, so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied, there was a noise and behold, a shaking and the bones came together, bone to his bone. So Israelites coming together. All right. He's not the first one. 
you know, you had Amari Stoudemire, you had Jamal Charles, you had a couple people in the UFC, a couple people in the boxing world. Um, you know, you have uh, Floyd Mayweather, you got a uh, Kodak Black, you got a, all these so-called celebrities that um, Cassidy that know that they're Israelites. All right. Israel is waking up, man. Once again, the Lord said that this was going to happen, man, in these last days that Israel was going to, uh, you know, um, remember themselves. Now, only the elect is going to be uh, remembering themselves unto perfection. All right. Remember themselves by uh, until, you know, and having the Holy Spirit supping with him. But Jake overall is waking up, man. OK, the, 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 the shaking, the noise, the bones to coming together. Verse eight. And when I beheld and lo, the sea news and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above. And this is the key point. But there was no breath in them. OK, so that's why you got all these so-called camps out here that's telling Israel that they're the Israelites. But they're saying it in the name of Christ. All right. Or in the name of Yahya and Yeshaya. All right. Or the name of Jesus. OK. Or the name of uh, uh, Yahweh. They're not they're putting the skin upon them, but they're not putting the breath in them because the breath is only given to the elect. The breath, the true doctrine is only given to the Lord's true prophets. And those are the ones who the elect, the sheep are going to hear. The Lord's sheep are going to hear. So the skin is a, is coming upon these uh, Israelites, but they're still not alive. They're still in the congregation of the dead. All right. And that's why it's important for the brothers who the, the men who have the true doctrine to go out there on them highways and byways, man. You got that light. You got to let it shine. You got to you got to push out this word so that the elect can be sealed because the elect is going to call upon the true name of the Lord, man. All right. The elect are not going to be calling upon these different names because the Lord is a jealous power. All right. And it also says this in Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So the Lord is not is not dealing with five, six different uh, ways to say his name, man. OK, there is self. There is need. There is not salvation in any other. OK, there's only one name that you're supposed to call upon. All right. To be saved. Which is Yahweh in the name of. Because you got to go through the mediator in the name of Yahweh Shai. All right. And this scripture right here was talking about what? Yeah, uh, Yahweh Shai, man. Because that's the name that we got to call upon in order to get connected back to our father, Yahweh. All right. So, you know, I'm going to end that right there, man. But I just want to bring this out. OK, you got Jake waking up to who they are, putting on the sea news in the flesh. But the spirit is only going to be given to the elect. All right. The breath is only going to be given to the elect. And you see, man, it's had uh, 61 comments, 674 shares, 14,100 views. So there are a lot of people seen this, man. And it, it'd be a lot of Israelites. All right. Whether they be whether they know they're Israelites or not. All right. Whether they look like so-called uh, Negroes or Latinos. That doesn't matter, man. All right. The, the so-called confusion of face, the Israelites that are scattered. All right. Some of those 14,000 views could very well be them. And and this is for a sign. This is for, you know, it's showing Israel. All right. And elect, he might wear this and elect might get intrigued and then go research and come across the true doctrine and come across the true name and they get sealed, man. So the, so the Lord has, you know, plenty of ways of sealing his elect. All right. And elect is going to get sealed regardless. I'm going to get that last scripture. All right. The, you can't you're not going to stop the elect from um, being being sealed, man. Um, so like, so I believe that's Romans, the 11th chapter, the 7th verse. Uh, so I, I'm gonna start at four. It says, but what but what say if the answer unto the most high unto him, I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed to the knee of. But have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. All right. So the Lord has reserved, predestined, put aside his elect, man. And we don't see every elect. We don't know which who 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 the elect is or where the elect is. But the Lord knows, man. He has reserved them and they're going to wake up. All right. They're going to actually 
have the breath put in them and call upon the true name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, even so then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. All right. See, this was a grace, man. This We didn't do anything to have this name in the Lord. We didn't do it. We ourselves didn't make a, a give us faith, man. The Lord gave us faith, which was a, which was a gift. All right. It says, and if by grace, then it is no more works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. So it's according to your uh, your grace, man. According to the grace, the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 7. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right. So he's obviously seeking for the truth. OK, he came across, you know, a part of it. But if he's not a part of the elect, he's not going to uh, obtain the full truth. And he's going to end up dying thinking, you know, that whatever he calls upon. All right. He said if he's saying Yehuda, then he's probably calling the the the, the Yahweh Shai, y y uh, Yeshua. All right. And he's probably calling the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And that is not going to deliver him. OK, and that's why, because ultimately he 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 wouldn't be a party elect. But Lord willing, he is a party elect and he receives the true name and he sincerely, sincerely repents. But that's according to the Lord's will. It's not according to my will. All right. But the election is going to taint it, man. And the rest are going to be blinded, even if they know the Israelites. You got a lot of Israelites that know the Israelites that are still blinded, man. All right, so you know with that, I'm gonna close it out, Lord willing, edifying unto the elect, all right, who we endure all things for, who we teach, man, who we feed. Okay, because only the elect is going to obtain it, not the whole Israelites, not all the Israelites in the world, man. We're not all coming together. The Lord reserved himself an elect, and the rest were blinded, and that blinding that the Lord did was for their destruction. Okay. The Lord blinded two thirds of Israelites so that he can destroy them. Okay, because they're wicked and they weren't and they weren't predestined for salvation. All right. So with that, call her law, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, and Shalom to the house of David, the Bayaf Dawada. Shalom.